Black. Listen to the main event show live, Sonic Gardens Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Mang Meat Show, live on Sonic Gardens Radio, where we bring you Sonic Gardens music, banter of the day, and, uh, you know, whatever the uh, latest topic and what's going on in the world. Uh, we try to run the show daily. We uh, had a 61-day run going that was um, ended due to, uh, you know... Nice weather and having to uh, get out there and do some other stuff, you know. Actually, I'm not really sure exactly what the reason, but uh, either way, switching to the new location on the couch. On the couch, away from the desk. Mr. Joshua bringing us our intro music by him. All right. Enough of that. What's going on? Yeah, man, you gave yourself... That was awesome. That was like a WWE <laughs> intro. Uh, what I do? It's like a WWE intro. I, I keep... Uh, and then you cut it, though. That was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, man. What's so, going on? what have you been doing? What'd you do this weekend? Oh, I've been getting a bunch of stuff done. I bet. Yeah. Um, it was a good day for it. That's what I figured. You know, I'm not one to... Uh, to uh you know hound you and pound and round and uh you know to see what you were up to but i figured you were busy yeah i was actually i, I you definitely and uh curtis and i kurt helped me get some stuff done i did nice. some stuff by myself i did a bunch of stuff yeah nice um did you uh what up? What up? Just around the house and like clean yeah. up and stuff. Yeah, I did a yeah, yeah. Um, outside. I was out in the woods for a bit. I did a bunch of stuff out there. Uh, cleaned up down there by the lake and stuff. So I spent my time good. Nice. Oh yeah. I see you got your uh, your tan evened out. You're not looking right. so uh, burnt anymore. Right. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, well, we got some trees out of the trail. We cleared the trails out too, Curtis and I. Nice. Oh yeah. So here I am. Out yeah, we couch. uh we got together last night and had a uh um, a shaka practice Ooh. here in the studio. And shaka. so what it did is it caused to uh you know switch up the whole setup. Not the shocker. The yeah, shaka. We pulled down the green screen and uh uh yeah. All Just right. made a couple of adjustments. Flipped Josh around. Yeah. He had also built up over his 61 days a hell of a village on right. that desk. And like all good things, the they village come to an end. Got ended. Yeah. But, you know. I knew it was a sign because I saw the other day that show, or whatever, man, my whole head was green and shit. <laughs> like, well, um, from, uh, from that show, like, when we messed with the shit, like around oh, my right. hair, yeah. around my hair and everything, yeah. it's all you green. Had a green tint. I had a fucking hell of a green tint. That was awesome. I was looking at that. I was like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah, yeah. So now I'm back. Where I, I, I really didn't. Uh, I'm cool with the couch or the chair. I'm cool with this situation right here, like always. That's but I was figured. doing that because we, because uh, I don't know, or because we, yeah. So over the weekend, I kind of set up some other uh, locations, and I gave him some options. I came yeah. in and said, you know, man, this is what you can do. You can do this, this, or this. His desk is actually still together nicely. I didn't Yeah, I to. didn't. Actually, it's got but that wasn't my, uh, tissues I mean, all over there. It looks kind of, you know, a little contaminated. Nah, they're, uh, but, uh, they're like the SOS. Oh, okay. The village people were making them, and then they, were, they send out messages. No one's fucking helped them yet. Right. So. I did. I'm about to free him. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, shit. Putting them in a little box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, I I also came into some awesome uh, shirts. Thank you, man. Oh yeah. But cracking me up right off the bat is this. Uh, he did a print. I gotta pull this up, man. Yeah, what did I say Warner's name was? Fucking uh, Stevie so, yeah, Stevenson. If you notice uh, on the front here, obviously we got Shaka. Shaka. We got, uh, and then Beavis and Butthead. Oh. Know, as you can see, Butthead's got a bit of a beard. And uh, we all know that uh, I'm Beavis. No. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we actually have, uh, we realized that our show is kind of like Beavis and Butthead, man. So we're going to play with that. Because we don't talk about. So we are Beavis and Butthead all grown up. We're still into music. Still like, uh, you know, watching videos and stuff. And, uh, you know. Right. We laugh about stuff. So. We're going to play Toad Baseball later. Isn't that what they played? Toad Toad baseball, right? Oh, yeah, that's or frog right. baseball, frog or something. baseball. They were rowdies. I uh, I don't remember a lot of. I don't remember I mean, a lot about. I did, the that's episodes. like it wasn't one of them things that I would sit down. Like I mean, I watched it, but right. it, it's not one of them things where you'd be like, "Yo, I want to watch it." But it was on so fucking much. Right. Right. Like, and then on, it got on. to a point where like it was on a lot, but then it got like when they started like real. Like, uh, they just played the living shit out of it. Like, towards the end of that shit, like, they would play and play, play and play, play it. it. So right. you would, like, if you ever tuned in, I mean, and we were at that age then, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, probably smoked a little weed. Yeah, right. And watched some TV at points. Um, yeah, Definitely. I don't remember smoking uh, weed. I don't remember smoke. <laughs> maybe I guess maybe you didn't smoke any weed in the nineties. Me neither. What was it? The nineties? Fuck yeah, it was the nineties, wasn't it? Had to be. Yeah, like that was like right in the beginning. Then what you know of what the nineties? You thought yeah. it was the eighties? No, I'd no, say ninety three, I mean, like, ninety four. But how started. Many, but how long did it last? Just a couple years. Oh no, they went on for a bit, didn't they? I don't know. And then they did a movie. Right, and then it was the end. Um, yeah, what was it? Something America, or Beavis, Do America? Beavis they and Do America. Yeah, they do. Beavis and Buy Do Do's America. Do's it. Right. Um. Yeah. So, what do you got going on? Oh, nothing much. Oh. Huh. We did a uh, like I said, we did practice last night. Um, oh. I've been working on some, uh, you know, some tracks, doing some like recording work, uh, for some uh, clients. So they know? started that what? Yeah, for oh. some, you know, doing some recording work. Oh, oh, recording. Got some uh, hip hop, right? Work on, you know, and like it's like mixing. Man, there's enough rooms in here. Voice. We could do like a, yeah. you have like a porn studio in one of them or something. Yeah, we we have the possibility for anything. Down Except there, for actually. I don't, I I doubt there's any porn yeah. stars in Norwich. Yeah, uh, there might be a few. Yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but they might not be anything to look at, and that's what you kind of do with porn. You look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, right. Yeah, there's my first bash of the day. Um, boom. She's like a one of my mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, they started, Beavis and Butthead, like, they started off, like, and they did a couple, like, shorts, two episodes in 92. Okay. And then they did a first season, they did three episodes in 93. And then the second season, they did 26 fucking episodes. So they went from three to 26. That's how much they picked up the fucking pace. It was hot topic. Yeah, and then they kept just getting, they just kept going up. Uh, 93, 31 episodes, 94, 32 episodes, more, and then that was in March of 94. So then October to October, they did they did 50 episodes. Um, so they were pumping them out. 
95, they did 20. That's when they started kind of, yeah, they didn't do any in 90. Yeah, they did 95 October to 96 March, 20 episodes. Then in 97, in January, they popped off 41 of them for that year. Right. And then nothing. And then it says something about season eight in in 2011. So they took like a um a 14 year hiatus and came up came back with 22 episodes. <laughs> I do not recall that. I don't either. Those are, I haven't seen those particular ones. I wonder if it's the same animation and everything. Has to be. This so is your yeah. boy, right? Judge, right? Mike Judge, right? I don't know. Yeah, your boy. What else does he do? We were just <laughs> talking about him not too long oh, ago. Oh, really? I don't know. You sure? He was Mike in Judge? something you watched. Yeah, he was in something we were talking about. Um, Was it the regular show? What uh? Who does the animation for that thing you and Warner were talking? Or... No, that's somebody. Somebody else. Oh, that's just some Pen- dude. Pendleton. Something like that. It was some fucking. Uh, Where's that? Um. <laughs> it was some. Uh, I don't know. It don't matter. So going on. Nothing. You got nothing going on. Just clients and. Uh, just a little bit of yeah, studio work. I was just uh, you know we practicing with the band that's a big thing we're gonna get ready to uh we're gonna start recording i got everything hooked up to uh you're gonna make an album good time to make an album since you can't fucking play anywhere well we definitely got five songs ready like ready to start recording well an ep you got and uh and then i think that uh we'd be able to add freaking 10 more as we started doing it we'd see how how easy it would start flowing for us and uh yeah, it was cool because after that two months that we haven't played together and we played last night, and uh, that was pretty awesome. It felt like the first time. It felt like. <laughs> Whip it <yeah>. out. <laughs> Let's play with it. It was awesome. Oh. Yeah, we had a good time for sure. Missed Randy, though. We didn't hear from Randy. Yeah. I think we sh- we, he's been off uh, Facebook, which is where we communicate most. Oh, so I think, boy. Uh, I think we, uh, yeah, should have reached out. But we're all on that boat of like people that don't really uh, make those phone calls when we're supposed to. He's know. probably just running late. Yeah, he's still coming. Yeah, he'll be right. here. Fucking Wednesday. Maybe. He's running late. Maybe he got the COVID cough. You know who uh, has got to be hungry to talk to us is our good buddy Ryan. Who call him up? The old choker. <laughs> <Yeah>. Fucking. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh. Oh, uh, but it's right at that. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Nah, fuck them. They can they can take a break over there. They can do something. Oh, Warner. Well, you think he's gonna answer you? Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm gonna text him first. Oh, you're gonna text him just to. Uh, What else we should uh let me play a song. Oh, I was just going to actually I was actually just going to throw some beats out for us. Oh yeah, but... you want to give us some uh, <laughs> You could do that. Well, no, I, we were I didn't know if you were that's why I asked if you were calling them cuz I was just going to play a couple uh But no uh Yeah, pull up a song. All right. Pull us up a classic. So you didn't record any of the songs last night. No, because just I ran it through was, uh, you know, with everything in a in uh kind of being torn down from what we've been doing for the last two months. Right. You know, I had a lot of cables still to hook up and it just ended up being I did it after. I ended up like staying after practice and spent a couple hours getting everything hooked up tight so that we can uh you know, I figured that since we hadn't played in two months it probably wasn't the greatest time to just start recording. That we needed to kinda of loosen up a little bit. Right. You know. So uh next time should be uh should be the time to do it. So it looks like maybe Wednesday night we're gonna try. Oh. So yeah, you know, we got five people in the band and uh Wasted Wednesday. We just uh try to try to keep our uh you know, c- keep conscious, keep uh clean, wash our hands. It's funny, I just went to uh Walgreens there. 
Yeah. And, you know. Just, I went there today. And sitting there was like a couple, They there was like a bin of. Uh, I had to pick up my AIDS medicine. There was a bin of uh, <laughs> hand sanitizer. And so I was like, and they were just like little, like two ounce bottles. Oh, you know? where did you see that? So I was like, oh, I'm going to grab a couple of these. So and I the, grabbed you, two of them. And they said, fuck you, Angelo Mariano. One, yeah. you little cocksucker. You're the kind of people we don't like, they said. The guy said very politely uh, that, you know, I couldn't buy right. two. But the thing is, is that there was the bottle you right said, next to it that was, you know, 10 ounces or 12 ounces. And I could have bought one of those. So it seems kind of weird. It would seem more like it would be based on a amount right. that you're buying. But instead, it's yeah. like one. You can always steal more than one, Ange. If, you, <laughs> if you're into that kind of shit. If I want to get arrested. Right, for having clean hands. You're like, I just want a clean hands. They only let me have one. Right. Just want to use it for lube, officer. <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? Oh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I mean, it keeps it clean. Yeah, I mean, I doubt it would be any. No, I doubt it would be. It would not be recommended. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it would use. It, it would be as a. I mean, you could. I'm sure. I doubt it's anywhere. There's probably nowhere where that that is a good idea. It's probably like a as pre- dumb as saying that you could drink Clorox. Maybe not, though. might not be as dumb because you're not putting it in you, but you're putting it in something, probably, unless you're just... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we're on... No, yeah. we took a fucking right-hand turn. Have, have you ever had, like, a... Uh... Have I jerked off with the hand sanitizer? No, I have not. I have not taken it there yet. <laughs> yeah. But I'm young, and I still got time, probably, I'm hoping. What about, you ever... Uh, Tell me. Been with a woman, and she... That used hand sanitizer as a lube? Not as a lube, though. Just to, like, clean you up first. Clean up? No. <laughs> nah. Nah. I know someone that broke out some Bengay once for the burn, like. Phew. But you know, anyways, like, like a like a somebody that sleeps, but they're like really, you know, they're worried about bacteria and like stuff like that. Right. So they clean it out with some hand sanitizer. Yeah, they're like. I mean, I guess it'd be like pouring alcohol onto it. So I mean, I guess. It'd be like cleaning the dish before you eat it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be like that. You might want to get some lemon scented though, so it doesn't taste like fucking whatever. Yeah. I don't know, man. I never orange, tried that. Whatever you like. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I just thought of it. I never. I mean, I haven't run into that myself, but I was pour kind of alcohol like, on stuff, anyways, like right? Like to clean wounds and stuff. Um. Yeah, I guess you could clean it's that wound. Op- it's a an opposite thing, I guess. What? I don't know. Man. Clean before entering? Yeah. Or, I mean, nah, because it's like wash. you wash your hands like before you eat, right? Right. Why not, <laughs> <laughs> why not make sure you have a clean plate? Um, both, both cases. Um, twigs and berries or... Right. Yeah. So that went deep real quick. <laughs> Curiosity. Yeah. yeah. It killed the cat. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Fucking A. Saw a dead one today driving down. Actually. There was a... Tell me. Okay, so... Okay, you see a dead cat, right? Yep, and I just keep fucking driving, Ange. Right. It's none of my business. Right. Now, I kind of feel like we There's... are... So we're getting to that point with our society through the coronavirus is bringing a realization that we overlook all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, death and destruction as, um, cost of doing business, cost of life. Right. So like the same way that we drive down the road and, um, you know, whether we accidentally hit 
an animal. Well, I mean, you know. I mean, I didn't animal. hit it. No, no, I'm just saying. I, or you just see I it. Did. Or <laughs> even, or even you uh, accidentally drive over one that's already dead, like something on the ground that's dead. And well, it, I mean, you you pay attention, but you know, I know there's other people that can relate to. All of a sudden, you know, you're like, oh man! And you next hit. thing you know, you got yeah, you hit something again, and you're like, wow! I just drove over like uh, this life, you know, creation. But it was and, already dead, right? But so, oh. how do you like? What do you think about that? Like, if you, you run like, over something that's already dead, yeah. I mean, I think maybe you should fucking pay attention a little more at okay, the road. Okay, well, what if it was like? What the car in front of you hit it, and then it's just laying there no, like you don't you have like time to. What if you like drive down the road and there's a dead body laying on the side of the road? Now you don't have to hit it. I mean, you stop, right? I mean, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I, what I'm asking. I so don't know if I there's would. There's like a certain, of course I mean, you do, like right. Well, <clears throat> you're the first one, and and there's got to be like a a certain amount of like um. I guess it all depends on you know, what the like fuck's a lot going of on, Angelo. A lot of people gravitate towards like certain glory of that, you know, like being the first one on the scene. So, I mean, they want to help, but obviously it's a dead body, so you're like, eh, whatever. It's dead. I'm just keep driving. But you don't think of it in the same way that you, you just said when we started the conversation by saying... It's none of my business. I kept driving. It is none of your business when so, there's a dead body on the side of the road, too. Because then, so, uh, then you're just putting yourself into... All of a sudden, you killed it. You yeah. pulled over, and the thing got stabbed yeah. 15 times. Next thing one. you know, like you just so happen to have the same kind of knife in your car. Nah, but um, I don't... I, yeah, I guess. That's I don't know. What, uh, Our li- but how... But... You... You don't, you don't see a dead. You know what I mean? Like, Warner's got a story about a dead body. Really? They did see one on the side of the road when they were pissing. No way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They. Yeah, no. Warner's always. He was. He was with a couple uh, Peter Puffers, I think. <laughs> uh, seriously, <laughs> I don't know how he got. Uh, I don't know how he got ganged up with that, but. Well, you know, humans. He was sharing a hotel room with them too, so. Um. So but that's his business, not mine. But yeah, they saw one. He's got. He can tell a hell of a story, so he'll tell you all about it. Maybe not. Maybe well, I'll he ask him about it. But maybe I guess he doesn't that want does to talk lead... about it. But but yeah, but, they. You know, I think like... they jump or pulled over to piss or something. I don't know, man. I guess what I'm what I'm getting at is that it just seems like his story's so long. It's like I gotta write shit down sometimes because, like, it's so detailed. When he tells a story to me, it's like holy fuck. How am I supposed to write? like? I get the gist of it, but I can't remember the whole fucking thing. It's like I need to take fucking cliff notes and shit to be able to fucking if I'm gonna fucking repeat the whole story. And that's but how I know, you document the stories. Yeah, but I I know the gist of it, and if he feels comfortable. He'll talk about it, but uh, I've already <laughs> I've already brought out half the information. So um, yeah, he found a dead body while he was pissing. He'll be like, "Yeah, so uh, found this dead body while I was pissing." Yeah, and, but you know, goddamn well, he'll like, know what fucking car they were driving and what fucking color fucking hair the guy had that they saw and who was holding his wanker while he peed, and he'll know everything. Yeah. So obviously he was there. Um but yeah, where were we? That's where we were. We were oh. Uh, oh, we were oh, talking dead about dead bodies on the side of the yeah, road. You so... just don't like you just don't happen nobody throws their dead body on the side of the Nor- road in Norwich. Of usually. course. So you're I, you're thinking on this practical level, but I'm thinking on this like uh, All right. If I see on one like on the a, side um, of the road, I'm thinking about I... how how we perceive the loss of life and i'm and what i'm trying to say is that like we we have this like hierarchy of what's important like if it's an insect insect we don't like think twice or maybe if it's a certain type of insect we think twice but we don't you know if it's a bumblebee as opposed to a cockroach as opposed to a fly or a mosquito or a spider 
I don't know. You know what I mean? Everybody has these different feelings about different uh, organisms. Right. And so the but hierarchy... They, they're like, the same people that won't fucking give a homeless guy food. That And there you go. Possibly. So, possibly. That's how I feel about a lot of fucking people who about fucking are like, oh, lovers. put right. a fucking spider outside. Motherfucker, if it's your spider, do what you want with it. If it's mine, we'll fucking tend to it the way we need to tend to it. Well, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you don't think. You see something like that and you whack it, or sometimes you're like, oh, right. you, you've heard it so many times, you like, uh, here, it's like a little game you play with them. You put them in something, you bring it outside. Here, see if you can make it back inside. Right. Start tagging them so you know, like they do wild animals, so they know they can track them. Oh, we ran into this guy. Um, I have like an indoor rule that I like made up for myself that was like if if an if an insect is indoors, like Jesus. in my zone, then I whack it. That yeah. I, I'm willing to kill take it. it up to your bedroom. But <laughs> I realize that like that's just a rule that I made up, and why does that have to be the rule? So I don't know. It's just like, but I do. Um, um, so I kill them all. The spiders. You do like a little ant. Yeah, kill them all. Well, you know. But uh, no, but there you go. So, but I don't do it without thinking that what I'm doing is kind of a little barbaric and unnecessary. And then I look at that as like the next like giant thing. Like if if we were just like a little uh, atom of a bigger thing that made up something else. You know, like what if we ended up really just being the like this little this little atom in the corner of you know some well, I mean, other creatures it all comes lag, down to like you know things have to die yeah they do when they die i mean that's not um i guess you're not or we're not the uh Sometimes you are the choice of it if you kill a spider or whatever. But, like, if everyone never, if no one ever killed a sp anything, snakes, spiders, deer, like, we'd be fucking overrun with everything. Like, you, oh, right. Right? You have to, like, there comes a time, like, things have to die. Like, I mean, I guess, but I don't know how, I don't, like, I honestly don't know how long do, spiders I fucking do live. I think that there's a, I do think there's a uh, thin line between. You know, basic like when someone kills an animal and then and then says like they liberated it or well, gonna, I don't I'm gonna honor this deer. Well, I mean, for what I, you know, like as far as I'm not gonna honor. waste anything and honor. Well, I mean, the sacrifice of this deer, and I think that's more on a, uh, I guess, on a level of like well, we that's are, just like a Jesus person, basically. Like I'm gonna where the show is say one. this to feel better about what or think that I'm yeah I something's guess. going down. Well, I mean, like it, it also it also says something to being the chosen like species that right, in God's you, eyes humans are the chosen one, and we use and abuse animals and creatures right. however we wish for our own pleasure. Which is really like no. Well, that than that point though comes like it, it. It started off like they they weren't just you know what I mean. If they were getting attacked by animals, they would kill them. But they but for the main part, main they were killing them to eat. You know what I mean? Like not there wasn't any grocery store to go to. You know what I mean? They were killing animals either in fear because they were were getting attacked like by bears and stuff like that, or. They were killing animals to eat, like the buffalo and stuff, and uh, animals like that. But there's, then, then there becomes as time rolls on, there becomes this thing where people want a trophy hunt, or you know what I mean, like, or, or they want to kill for ivory, it, stuff like that. So it, it, as we go along, man, everything, people get more fucking ideas, and what can we do with this and that, and then that whole, uh killing things to survive or stuff like that has taken on a whole new life of its own is right what goes on really so then but, so uh, then back to like how yeah and I, I agree i agree with all that and then you know so you got this like issue of animals on the side of the road or god forbid you hit an animal 
you know, you got the ones that like, wh- what are you going to do about it? Like if you hit a deer, but it runs off into the woods, are you pulling over, calling, you know, the police, uh, waiting for them to come? Yeah, but uh, unless you can it see down. it on the side of the road or something, like there's no, like the police are going to tell you to get fucked, man. Right. So what about, that's the same thing as if you hit it and it hits the side of the gutter and you're sitting there in your car, you know? Do you well, leave or you're supposed to call? Well, if it's dead, report it. Yeah. They're not. It all depends. If it's not dead and it's suffering, yeah. Fucking call somebody up and have them come fucking. So, okay. Do so it. it's suffering. So now you're going to, now you have the, you're going to say, or not you, but uh, like, so in that same breath that you don't really, I don't know, man. What? If it's suffering, then you're gonna. You ain't gonna fucking save it. You're gonna put it you out. Just of hit it with a fucking car. You are. What you fucking. What vet? What are you gonna bring into a vet? What are you gonna vet? do? That, oh, that's what I'm saying. Then you get out and you're like, all nah. right, I'll take care of this. And you're I like, would. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't take of care of it. Antlers and twist its head or something. Nah. What do you do? Call him back up. Call him back up. Yeah. You call up either. You either. It depends, man. I mean, you don't really want to go shooting a deer on, on the side of the road. The cop will do that with no problem, though. You call the cops up, they'll show up, and they'll boom it. Right in the head. Oh, I mean, funny. unless you're fucking... Unless you got no time to kill and you got a knife with you, and then you just slit its throat. But Um... Or you let it suffer, which is not really recommended, man. You know what I mean? That's like yeah. you're dying already. Well, I wasn't trying to necessarily go down that rabbit hole, but well, I, we, I agree. we fucking but, were there, Angelo. Well, the one that but what I was is, is knocking I, on what heaven's I was to, door. <laughs> what I was trying to get to was that that uh, I just kind of feel like that this um, the idea of like the way you said how how many people have died uh, this year or. To, you know, or whatever. It was like 129,000 or today or... That wasn't a day, yeah. That was a one fucking day. day. Right, right, because then we were In like, the oh, world, how many though. people were born? And then there were 300, you know, so it's like you're literally... <laughs> the word I use too much. What, literally? Literally. Oh. Literally. Uh, but, yeah, we're just at this point where... We just are these numbers, they just tally up and that this, you know, how many numbers would it take for it to, you know, um, I don't know. It's confusing, but it seemed, but what I'm trying to say is that, is that we're just overlooking. I was going to say, you're telling the story. We're overlooking. (laughs) Yeah, I know. We're overlooking all of the deaths that are caused from everything that exists. Well, I mean, and I wouldn't narrow in and be like, "Oh, pick the ones that I care about," but just whatever, whatever they are, whether it's a, uh, you know, well, obesity. I you mean, know. you, we can't save everybody. You could try. You could try to put in help. Um, you could try to talk somebody, but, um, yeah, we can't. I mean, even. Even their God doesn't save everybody, which is right. Um, right? Like they, like, I mean, I'm not saying go around and uh, take people out, but like you can uh, only do so much. Yeah. Um. So there's. A but lot if of you're doing good, and 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 the people you hang out are doing good, then then you've got that covered. But, um, if you hit a an animal, and it's a wild animal and it's dead right off the get go. You you know what I mean? Like it's too fucking late. It's dead. Like you can't, um, like a raccoon. Uh, right. You can't just hang out on the side of the road and like, oh oh oh. You know what I mean? It's over. You fucking hit it. It's an accident. That's what right. they. You like, move on. You move on. Try yes. To put it out like of your you mind. can't. Like no no. Or a bunny uh, rabbit. No. Yeah. You can't do st- even. You can't do stuff. Even if you hit someone's dog, you yes, you go tell them and stuff, but. There's nothing you can do, man. You're not bringing back something that's dead. That's the, it's like the bottom line. Like, right. Um, no matter what, like, you know what I mean? It's terrible and all that stuff. But in the end, like, there's no, 
no matter how much you fucking harp on yourself, you can't, you're not bringing it back. Like, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, those are the breaks sometimes, I guess. Well, that's the, that's the inevitable. It's going it to happen no matter what. Everybody, you It is, but I'm not saying, like, I mean, suffers. like, yeah, if you end a dog's life early, yeah, you got to, you need to tell the owner or find the owner and tell them or whatever. But that being said, once that's done, like, there's nothing else. You can't do anything else. Like, you've done it. You went and told them. The dog ran out in front of you. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, you can. You can go on and feel bad, but going on and feeling bad is not going to solve any of your, your problems. Like, you know what I mean? People make missteps or whatever, but if you're driving down the road and, and, and something runs out in front of you, there's not a lot you can fucking do if, if, if you slam down the brakes and, and you still hit it. Right or swerved and you still hit it like well, it's not it's not something you should be carrying it around with you for the rest of your time is, is what i'm saying yeah you got to you got But yes on. that in that case you call you, you you reach out to somebody you try to find the owner definitely definitely yeah i would want someone if they hit my dog to find me and tell me yeah straight up I mean, if I had somebody else's dog, I would. My mom had a dog once at the bottom of Tanner Hill. She pulled over and went out and uh, told the people. It's tough. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the dog made it or not. It's like shattered her windshield, though. Yeah. Yeah, that, if you got a dog on that road, I mean, there's certain levels of expense. That's another thing, too. Now, when's the. Like if your dog's running the if if your dog's running in the road like when's like when's the ownership of the dog like um they're at a little bit of fall at some point too yeah um my neighbor's dog once well she, she lived a few houses down dude hit her uh, her dog on a motorcycle broke his leg got all fucked up sued sued him sued the you know what I mean their insurance and shit. So, right. Try to keep your dogs out of the road. Moral of that story. Yeah, if if somebody served papers because of something like that, it would be pretty obvious. That, I don't hey, think that lady ever bought another dog. Yeah, I think they told her it was a probably well, a good idea if she. You didn't know, there's different kinds of dogs. Own man. an animal, and, and I'm. It was a, a beautiful little black dog. That's another beautiful. super positive thing about my dog. You know, I told you the other number one quality is that he shits up against the edges of the yard you know the, the wall that's like got to be number one but number two is that uh he has no desire to run away and you know my history with dogs man like when i was younger like i just had dog after dog that would do anything to get out of my parents fenced in backyard right and you know it wasn't just one of them it was like all these dogs and no i to know get, we used to get this dog warden serve papers, you know. They tickets, all used to all run all over time. town. <laughs> Hoeing. <laughs> Hoeing and like owning it too. Like the old, the coolest was the one Frankie had picked up, which was, uh, you know, the black, little black lab mutt. But he wouldn't stay home and he didn't bother anybody other right. than he would like chase kids on their bikes and stuff and try to bite their ankles. But, but it wasn't like a, a mean bite. You know, he was just like kind of playing. And then uh, another one. So it's just like so cool to have a dog that like you can, um, you know, if you, if, if you, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to go anywhere. Doesn't mean he won't like charge somebody if, if I leave the front door open and they're walking by. Right. And scare the hell out of them and bark at them until they uh, empty their pockets. Yeah, my dog just likes to hang out at the perimeter. Like, he doesn't like to run away. I've given him plenty of chances to fucking cut bait, but... Yeah. He's more worried about what I'm up to. What you're up to, and that's, that's like, that's got to be top, you know, a huge quality in a dog that they don't want to run around. So the whole concept of a dog running in the road is because they're, you know, they're not uh, loyal um, to their owner that much. I mean, unless they're lost, of course. But even that, how do you get lost? If you're a dog. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, um, play a song real quick. All right. You got one loaded up? 
Yeah, I had uh, there was one thing because we were talking about death that I wanted to to talk about. Oh, oh keep keep talking. And it was uh, um, you know, I watched another one of those fabulous uh, episodes from the um, Midnight Gospel, and it was a a conversation with somebody you know basically impersonating or acting like uh, death, and uh, oh yeah, you can select that. It's not a choice. Oh, it's because I slit. I that's crazy because I I put that um I did that. That's awesome. Not really though. Around the whole view? Yeah, it's wild. I it's a little test run thing, I guess. We'll make oh. that. A little testy, but you have to like hold it to get it. Um, you probably where you want it, because if you don't have it where you wear, want it, you might be able to wear the. Uh, oh right, if you're not you can't pointed, see it. You, you got to readjust the center. I yeah. think you can readjust where the center is, probably. Oh. Um, actually it was just a little switch here on this intro and I, I put it on and it's funny cause I can't turn it off now that it's, oh. on. that's all right. Oh, it's a 360 deal, huh? Yeah. So you can basically see, you know, right up close, man, people be making out with you tonight. Yeah. That's what they do. <laughs> um, anyway, so it was a, a, a conversation with, um, you oh, know, no, basically man. death. And and they said this thing that like like the way we look at um, some things, there's something that we like a big conspiracy we never talk about is the you know jokingly but not uh, the death industrial complex, and so the idea is that a, you know it was only like a hundred years ago that we started um, embalming and decorating our bodies for um you know like by a professional like in that level really so really it, it like really all started in the uh civil war when the soldiers were dying in the that's, south that's that's a bit more than 100 years ago not really i Just mean a little more well hold on let me it, it's, it's uh, in the 1870s wasn't it <laughs> well don't or don't, 1770s uh, don't worry about the details. Just oh uh, well, I mean, a hundred years is a hundred. I mean, till, save <laughs> your, save your questions for the end. All right. No, I'm sorry. You can you can heckle me all you want. Yeah. But um, okay. So, uh, I mean, if it's that good of a story, you're gonna remember it no matter if I say anything. True. A hundred. Yeah. It's it's just uh. So you know, right. about a hundred. Let's just say Civil War. I won't even say a hundred years. Then we'll take that little note out of there. All right. So around the Civil War, when uh soldiers were dying and uh you know, large numbers like in the South, uh, where the fighting was and they had to get their bodies back. It was very important to the, um, to see the body and to, you know, and, uh, so they were tossing all these bodies on the trains and all of a sudden the train operators were like, yo, we're not taking these, these decomposing rotten corpses anymore, you know? So then these dudes started cruising around just like ambulance chasers and uh, basically, uh, you know, selling off, like selling their um, their work to people and, you know, with maybe a, a left behind body and they would uh, embalm them. Right. They do it using like arsenic. So, um, so obviously that became like a big business for them these people that were going around from battle to battle they would go to these civil war battle to battle right and they would uh um yeah and they would uh they would uh embalm these bodies with like arsenic and sawdust and then they'd ship them back and it would be enough to like work um at the job but then all of a sudden the war was over and they had to they like basically figured out a way to sell to the world that this was the ideal way to do it but in the in the meantime it became such a process that like dealing with a dead body is almost like this emergency so like if you were to die well i guess you know i mean different circumstances but if you were if you were to die at like old age in your home 
you know, people are like think that they have to instantly call the ambulance and instantly get somebody down there and then they bring down somebody that carries out the body, you know, and within an hour while you're still traumatized over this uh, death, uh, the body's hauled out, you know, or gone or whether it's, um, you know, a hospital room or, you know, anything like that. And it's not really... Um, and there's different reasons like we we think that like oh my god a dead body that's gross you're gonna catch like some disease or something but technically it's not it's not any different than it was before and just like we're learning now the biggest way of you know disease and unless you have like ebola or like one of those things ebola. that's a different story but um but if it's just like natural causes the things that are people are sick and what causes those things are coughing and poop and pee and none of those things are happening anymore so you just become a, a body but the body is not um you know, there's nothing wrong with it right and so like this person like the whole the whole talk was really about how this person is kind of like a uh, guide in those uh uh deaths and dealing with deaths and the remorse and uh and and uh you know the that, those things but Basically, as much as a person should be comfortable with, they should stay with a loved one's body beyond the death. You know what I mean? Whether it's like a couple hours or even, you know, hey, 12 hours or 10. Like, what's the limit? When does it actually start rotting to where you'd smell, you know, carcass? And that's when it's awful, you know, obviously. But, um... Postmortem, but instead it's like our system creates this thing where it's like somebody runs in they scoop up the body they take it away they make it not, you know they do that process and then they charge you an amount of money to do that and obviously that's been determined that that's the the preferred means of doing it everything but it's also kind of taken away other um options and even you know all those things it's like uh yeah so huh. so uh it was just an interesting to me it was an interesting uh talk about how death it just like everything death can be um a son of a bitch well and also like we look at it we always look at everything in the wrong context or like we look at it i don't know i've been around uh when people living. passed away like that and uh i guess it's who you are and how your family feels it i've been around when people hung out with the dead body before like um they knew they were dying or whatever, or they did die and the family was there and stuff like that and they just didn't yeah make well, a move yeah because there's no there's well, nothing that says goodbye. you have to it's just that yeah everybody you can say goodbye before those that moment of like you can hang you out know. with a dead but body that whole process of uh embalming and you know propping a body up to be looked at for a right. so-called viewing i just think is the part that like um well people want to i'm they want to yeah they want to see, see what you. I'm saying? They want they to wanna send you off, man. <coughs> so they want you. To, they want to see you in whatever you wear, whatever you wanted to wear, or they come and look at your. Uh, if they burn you up, they come and look at your little urn, 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 <laughs> your urn. -y. They come and. Uh yeah, I mean I don't know at all. Yeah, I mean I. It, Again, it's just uh, one of those things that's just a little bit, um, you know, we think that it's just this is the way things have always been done, but it's not. Like, you know, you can't just go bury your dead in your backyard. You can't do stuff like that, well, you know? I mean, not and get away with it. <laughs> no. Yeah, get away with it. But if you really think about the circumstances, it's like. Well, I guess there's, there's kind of, like, there's some health hazards when it comes down to a body being in your backyard probably especially if you get a well near I mean yeah they'd have like regulation yeah. on it yeah they'd be like uh have the inspector come by make sure you dug it 6 foot deep and uh that you're not within 100 foot of a well yeah Tammy <laughs> don't fall right. in the well yeah I don't know man 
No, that's it. It was, uh, you know, it's just a little um, take on something that I thought was interesting. The annihilation of, uh, yeah. What do you got? You got some like beats up there? Well, I got all kinds. That's what you got. I got all kinds of stuff out here. Just some sound effects, eh? Just a couple. Testing out the uh, the sound effects. Yeah. For later date. No, we can, uh, I didn't hear back from Warner, so I think he's also on vacation for a little bit. Um, vacation? What kind of vacation is he on? That's his whole life. Oh, sweet. Mary Rose got me some incense. So there is, like, if you want to say the one thing, so talk about, like, a, a privileged, like, um, lifestyle or whatever, or not. I don't know. That's my one thing that I, like, gave up on in the 60 days was that I didn't go to the store and buy incense. You know oh, what I mean? Jesus, and. and this place has been stinking, you know? That was one of the qualities of the Sonic Garden was that when you came in this place, it smelled so much. Uh, it just it smelled was... like a fucking brewery when I got in here today. It okay. really did. I don't know how because you don't drink beer. Okay, so did you hear what I just said? Because oh, I, I haven't heard... had oh, Ange, incense. Ange, you I heard come you. That's why I said... goddamn incense that's smell. That's why I made a comment because you you were looking yeah, for a comment. Yeah, it smelled like a brewery, and that's, yeah, there you go. And you don't drink beer. True. So... Well, uh, maybe get some new friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn alcohol uh, drinkers. Them fucking alcoholic drinkers. No, man. Son of a gun. We had a good time. Oh, I believe it. It was just uh it was just the uh there was there was only four of us. Just the four of you. Yeah. Oh, actually and then, you know, well you got five Dale showed up too and hung out oh, with us for the time. Oh boy. So Dale was uh checking in on us. So five people were here at one time. Really? That's the most, really. But we've been close. Four. That's right, because even when, like, Chris, so yeah. So we're kind of expanding. When we started out, it was just me and you. JB popped in a little bit. Yeah. So now we've expanded it to about 10 people that come here. And they should uh, feel. Well, New York State opened up. Technically? I mean, stage one. Uh, so I, is there a list I know of that stage? if I roll in here, I haven't been in here with all of them. I just roll in and clean off stuff where I'm going to be. And the and the air's cleared from last night, so I don't whatever, man. It's fucking cool with me. Yeah, oh. there's a well, there's a there's a good point. Is that when you know is it really just gonna step up our our uh, game Production. on keeping things clean? Like me, like even I mean, me as a uh, as you know my establishment, like I don't want it to be dirty, so I do. Although I was here really late, so that's why I didn't get in here before uh, to, like, clean up. But I, you know, I even did some uh, stage mopping last night. Yeah, you should see us two at a party when we have a party here. You and I are like the fucking maintenance men walking around here <laughs> picking up after people spilling fucking drinks. I mean, Spilling drinks was, like, madness. I mean, we haven't had a party in forever, obviously, because we've been sh it, the it's things been shut down but when we did when it, the last thing man it's it was like every two seconds someone was spilling something everywhere in here and then they just walk away like dude um it's not gonna clean itself up gotta report that yeah so at least we can do something somebody's gonna slip and fall. that's all we need is a slip and fall yeah we had a slip and fall and then the next thing you know they ended up in the river <laughs> Ding, 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 ding.
So, yep, I got some incense, and uh, here we are. I think I called this, uh, we called it Day 64. Really? Even though we skipped two days in there. So anybody looking for Day 62 and 63, they do not exist. We did not record anything the weekend. We went on a two-month hiatus, 61 days. Josh and I brought you the Manganeet Show live and uh we had to take a two-day break and we're back now yes we uh, are slightly reformat oh good news we actually got a, a lineup for uh uh tomorrow nate collins is going to be returning really and he's going to be strumming out some songs in front of the lion with the new camera angle that we got for there he's and, gonna bring uh, some new songs to the table huh um, yep. Whatever happened to uh, I thought we had a it just never panned out. Oh. What's that? Last weekend? No, no, it didn't. Uh, I didn't hear from him. Oh, so but um, he was here yesterday. Uh, yeah. Well, he he was moving, so I actually oh, did really? hear from him. Yeah. Uh, Jesse's coming Wednesday because what we decided is we were gonna have practice Wednesday night, so that way we can do a show Wednesday. Uh, he can play some songs on that level which we which i can then use to uh record like to uh do some mix tracks off the board right with, with the raw uh recordings and uh that night shaka is gonna record here uh full band so that's a nice uh busy just you're just gonna are you doing like a well this like so here's a facebook live thing or something or no no just, we're no, uh no. um well that's not the plan although i might i mean i mean it really comes down to needing a uh somebody to run the control board while we play what night is this so this would be wednesday night uh, we gotta plan ahead and i'll do it i mean so maybe we do a live show next sunday and you can do a sunday nighter whole sunday maybe um we but if that's the case, then it's pretty cool. Because, you want to do uh, a weekday, don't you? Uh, Probably whatever. more watchers, right? Yeah, whatever. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a. I mean, we could. I mean, I'm not a Facebook Live person. I don't know like when and what when. Yeah, I mean, there's always like kind of the way I see it is you put it out there and then once it's on the the YouTube page, you can share it and it's not live anymore. But nope. Yeah, definitely I do like not live. live if you're not live. <laughs> but yeah. It's, but it was still recorded live. Right. So I mean, this like is recorded live, live but <laughs> right. uh, which fuck. means there is no censor, uncensored, uncut, just the raw data of what uh we talk about. Yeah, apparently right now I'm 3D or uh 360 mode. 360 mode. Oh, I want to check that out actually. You I want to see if there's a way to uh undo it. Undo it. I wonder how it happened. Well, I mean, you even just, just on around. your phone, just to make it. Yeah, that's crazy. So you got to, like, hold it in a certain... Uh, yeah, you got to... It's, it's pretty real cool, fucking though. crazy, Ange. <laughs> <laughs> and then you center it off, and it's, like, right <laughs> up in your grill. Oh, yeah, so you can... I think you can take it off that. Hold on, because you can bring it down. No, maybe not. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. That's what I say. You can like look at anything you want. I, we can like, I, you can just zoom in on the uh, the party and bullshit. Grateful. You can like read your computer, like anything you want. You can see that uh, stuff on the desk. You can like get right up on there. If that computer wasn't there, I'd see right up, right see, up your skirt. Oh yeah, I do have my legs wide open like I'm airing out, like airing my vet, my yeah, <laughs> just out here getting yeah, some man. fresh air. All right. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Uh, we'll uh, be back again tomorrow. Give you another show. We got uh, Nate Collins coming in to join us for the show. That's tomorrow? That's tomorrow. All right.
Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get that going at four o'clock sharp. We'll be coming in. Nate's gonna play us some tunes, and uh, we'll see what we got to talk about then. Uh, yeah. So hey everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in, listening. I'll fix this 360 thing, but if you uh, were able to uh, enjoy that in the 360. Just so you know, you can always click those three buttons in the top right corner and watch our show in virtual reality, where you put on goggles and it's like you're sitting in the room Get right the across fuck from out of Josh. Here. Yeah, you, you can? Didn't, you didn't know that? I mean, no, no, I don't. How Do would I a, know that? Do you have a pair of those virtual reality uh, goggles? Do I look like a motherfucker who has a pair of them? Well, they're like they're only like fifteen bucks. They're just those little I know, glasses. But I'm not. It wasn't about they're cost. TJ Maxx. It's, well, it's not like it's some like two hundred dollar investment. I know, or but all right. But yeah, no, actually, you can take. I any. do look like a person that would have a pair. Well, why not? I don't know. I'm just asking. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. I don't even what. Break it down. Now you're on that topic. What? What? Uh. No. So any. Any video on YouTube, if you click the dots in the right corner. Define what you mean about virtual reality. Okay, so they're the, you like slide your phone. It basically oh, split. Oh, put your phone in there? Yeah, so you take your two. It, what it does is it takes the image and it makes two images, but they're like a left and a right. So they're right. slightly devi deviated. Right. So when you put on those glasses, then it's like you're in the room. Oh. So, like, if you watch a fight, it's like you're standing basically right next to the ring. Oh. Because you're not, like, looking at a TV from a couch far away. You're, like, all you see is the TV. So, it's it's more like you're in a movie theater. Like, you just, all you see is a big screen. And if, you, if, if you're, like, you know, we all everything love else a movie dark. theater. So, um, yeah, so, you know, you, I'm just, like, for example... You can do that. It'd be kind of weird watching the Manganese show in virtual reality. I, I mean, it's kind of weird watching 360. Or just watching it, period. So if you're one of the lucky viewers that tunes into our show, you are special, let me tell you. All right. So on that note. Well. Well. We're going to get out of here. That's right. Um, thanks for having us. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. I'm back on the couch, motherfuckers. That's right, and I think he's comfy. The yawn, you know, maybe you won't yawn as much if he's oh, on the I'm, couch. I mean, I guess. Thinking. I was going to do a lay down. I'm going to do a lay down <laughs> session one of these that, days. You might get too comfortable. I might do a lay down, flip it, so whatever, so the camera's on the side of it. So Warner I'm sitting on. there just looking at the... What about Warner? Um... Uh... When Warner and I get into conversation, one of those ones you don't care for, all of a sudden we'll catch you just napping on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> napping. Napping. Napping on the couch. Napping on the couch with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> so, uh, all right. We're going to close this off with a little tune from... Uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket. From the great Pep and Jeff. Ooh. This is us doing the... Uh, the uh, Chuck Berry hit. Oh, why? All right. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Mangan needs. And. And. Was gone and you Oh, why? Sonic Garden Radio. Why should it happen to be? Be guilty and try to cop a plea. But why should I be guilty when you don't belong to me? Oh, why? Why should it happen to me? Well, I cried, have mercy. Have mercy if you please.
man said, baby, the judge, he can't agree. The jury keeps on guessing, but the DA says it's me. Oh, why? Why should it happen to me? Well, I cried, have mercy. Have mercy, if you please. 